Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server animator or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is a widely requested one. Let's get through it. The Acid Creepers, Morda Gamer, Water Vapor, Acrylic Gaming, Bow Down, Wyatt Fluck, careful. Logan Craft, Lou Thomas, Jens August, Bailing, Parker Plays, Vital Bra, MC, Stamps, Cave and Man, MC, Video Gaming with Shans, and Seema P Patel. And this is made by VK2GPZ, which is probably a group of people. And uh, please, if you do find this video helpful, please leave a like, because I have purchased this plugin just for this tutorial. It does support 1718 and 19, but keep in mind with 19, some of the names of sounds and stuff have changed. So if you're on 19, be sure to update it, make sure you're using the right sounds for that. It does require a vault if you wanna use an economy plugin rather than the token part of this, and it does depend on World Guard for some aspects of it. Now, if you don't know what token enchant is, it basically adds another layer of an economy where people can earn tokens and then exchange that for uh, different kinds of enchants that they want. And it costs so much per level. You can make it so it's exponential, so it costs more for each level or just the same amount for every level that they want to purchase. They can exchange, they can refund, they can exchange their experience for tokens as well. And then you can also program your vote, vote plugin to give tokens or whatever you want them to do to be able to earn more tokens. Let's get into it a little bit more. Some of the permissions, let's go through that real quick. Tokenenchant.sign.create, tokenenchant.reload, tokenenchant.add, to remove, balance, balance others. So you can check your own balance. So you can do, um, oh man, T, uh, TE or token enchant to check your own balance, or you can check others, balance.other. You can withdraw uh, money. So you do TE with with draw five so that's going to give you five tokens that you can then give to another player if you just right click on it, it puts it back into your account there you have um xp exchange you can do an enchant be sure to put that in uh dot refund dot refund other now if you don't want them to be able to run all of those commands and they want to rely on the signs, then don't give them those permissions and we have all of these signs so uh let's give myself a little bit more of these we'll give us so 100 so we have 158 so now we can come in here now uh if we're on something that cannot be enchanted now obviously a sword can be enchanted with on breaking but not efficiency so it won't allow you to uh enchant that and then also uh, diamond pickaxe cannot be enchanted with sharpness or knockback both of these items i've added post not by default, so you will go over how to do that in the configuration, but we can go ahead sharpness and give it knockback, and then we have all three of those, and we can give it more levels of sharpness all the way up to 10 is what we have it limited to. We can also then do uh, refund sharpness, and then we can get some of our money back for that last sharpness level. Maybe we didn't want that. That is not enabled by default. You have to set that by true in your config. You can also do TE... Uh, Bal top and see the top uh, token, which it's only me. You also do TE uh, give BP player and then the row amount and then the backpack name, but I do not have VK backpack running, so it's not going to work. So you can see plugin not found. Um, here you can repair your items. So if we uh, get a little bit on here, we get a repair of one token and you could set all that up in your config. You can withdraw tokens in here once again um, it doesn't matter what you have in here and uh, it's only the first line so all of these signs are set up by doing uh, explanation point in in chant or whatever it is at the top line of that sign and then if you want it to do withdraw or exchange or xp exchange you just leave all the others blank and you just hit enter or if you want it to do a certain um a certain enchant then you put that enchant in there once again it doesn't really matter what you have on line three that's all configured 
in the configuration what the cost is, but it's probably a good idea to put the cost there so that your players do know what it is. Here we can see the XP exchange. This is gonna exchange 20 levels for one token in there. Once again, this is set up by default and then we can put it in our inventory there. If we end up with some tokens, uh, you can either just right click and it puts them in or you can come up to the exchange thing and go left and it puts it in your account there. So pretty straightforward. The signs are the um, most interesting part since they use the exclamation point at both ends of whatever you want to set up. So enchant, withdraw, exchange, XP exchange, repair, whatever it is. Pretty straightforward there. Let's jump over to the configuration file and take a look. So here we are on our server. You can see that we are running 1.92. Actually, we're going to jump into the plugins folder and then token enchants. Now, if you want to make your own enchantments, you can use their enchantment API and then you just pop that jar in here. I think this other stuff is on necessary you just need to put that api in there and then you can make your own i'm not really going to go over how to make your own enchantments you guys will have to do that but we're going to jump into the config file now everything is done in this config file you can change the messages the color codes all that stuff which i love it when they do that so you can change it to your own language or your own lingo or your own color scheme whatever it is that you have on your server you can change all of the messages that you get you can set this to false if you want to use the a vault rather than token uh, rather than tokens, you can change this token to money and experience is not supported right at the moment. You can change the exchange rate of, uh, of turning in tokens. You can uh, change the exchange rate of the levels so that, as you can see, that was 20 levels that we set up right there. Uh, repair cost, it's one. And then the discount of that, um, you can change what the token item is and what is it, the name is on it. You can change the prefix. You can change, you can remove Roman numerals uh, for once you get above four or whatever. Um, max enchantment levels sit, set in here. You can set it to use the in default enchantment table. You can uh, set different kinds of permission nodes so that uh, it won't modify different things. Now, here's where you can set the token formula. This is kind of the backbone of it. Now, by default, it's just set up linear, which means that every level is just 10 tokens. You can set up to be exponential in here so that each level, it multiplies it by 1.8, basically. It's a little more complicated than that, but just kind of follow the guide and they you know, do some little tweaking and playing around to get, get it set up to how you want. Here's where you can enable the refund. You can enable it, refund and then you can change the refund rate. So if you want to refund 100%, you would set that to one. Otherwise it's set to 80% by default. Um, everything else is pretty much straightforward. You, you can set the maximum number of enchantments per item, all that stuff you can, uh, has tie-ins with faction, MC, MCMMO, um, ignore self damage, all that stuff. All right, so the command section here, you can kind of set up your own aliases in this with this plugin. You can set, um, I didn't really play around with this or go through it too much, but it looks like you can basically set the command name that's run and then the permission node associated with that, the cost it takes to run that. So if they want to be able to purchase their own backpacks, they can. They could just type in backpack nine, and if they have the permission node to be able to run that command, it's going to cost them 30 tokens to do that, and then it's going to um, give them this permission, which then ties into the chest backpack plugin. So then this is the permission node used for that. We're going to scroll down. We have all the potions, pretty much the default potions. You can modify them in here, what you want. You can see the names that are set for them. And then uh, if you keep coming down, you can see all of the enchantments as well, the cost for each one, the max level for each one. You can change all of that. And then you can also change the confli conflicting ones so that obviously Silk Touch and Fortune are going to conflict, Explosion and Excavation, uh, Sphered, Disc, Tile, all that stuff will conflict. So you can't enchant an item that's already been enchanted with that. Now here's where you add other items that they can enchant. So I obviously added the diamond pickaxe with these other enchantments that are allowed on that item and then the diamond sword. So side note on the explosive and excavation, I know there's a little bit of uh, difficulty with um, plugins like uh, auto auto sell and pick up and any of those plugins that automatically pick up items they have trouble registering that event so be sure that they are on the latest version and contact those authors to make sure that they register the correct event otherwise the other items that are exploded will not be automatically put in the user's inventory 
And then that's pretty much it. So let's jump back over into the game and wrap it all up. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting this started. It's a super simple plugin. It gives you a lot of options though, of ways that you can go with it. And hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with it. So this is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. <laughs>